Welcome to this beginner tutorial for Adobe Premiere Pro. Whether you're a complete novice to video editing or just new to Premiere Pro, this tutorial is designed to help you get started. Adobe Premiere Pro is a powerful video editing software used by professionals in the film and TV industry, as well as YouTubers and other content creators. In this tutorial, we'll cover the basics of Premiere Pro, including how to import and organize your footage, how to edit your clips, add transitions, and apply effects. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a good understanding of how to use Premiere Pro to create your own professional-looking videos. Let's get started. Now when you first open up the software, this is kind of what you are going to be greeted with. The first thing you want to do to get started editing is to click on New Project right here and then you will need to name your project. So I'm just going to name this one tutorial video, and then as you can see, you can select where this project is going to be stored on your computer. So I'm just gonna leave it as the basic, and then after that, you can just basically click on OK and boom. Now in this video, I'm not going to go super into every single detail about editing more. So just give you an idea about how to get started with the software and really we'll try to go step by step so everybody can follow along. So the first thing you will need to do is to create a new sequence. So what you want to do is go down here and then click on new item sequence. And as you can see here, you can set up the sequence settings. So basically this is just going to determine all the different settings of the video that you're going to be editing, right? So what I like to do is just, either you can just select one of their templates that they offer or you can go to custom and then set the frames per second. So that's going to determine how many FPS your video. I'm just going to set it at 27 and then you can select the frame size and put that in. So I'm just going to edit normal full HD video. So that's going to be 1920 by 1080, right? And then after that in these pixel aspect ratio, you wanna make sure to select square pixels. And then that's basically all that you need to do to get started editing. You can also name your sequence here, so I'm just going to name that as well. Tutorial. Okay, so now as you can see, we have this timeline right here, which is where you are going to be doing most of the editing. Let me just kind of walk you through how Adobe Premiere Pro kind of works. So this right here is going to be your playback. Area where you will be able to see the video that you are editing right now. This right here is going to be where you will have your effect controls. So if you want to add any sort of effects or transitions or change the settings of a certain clip, then you will be able to do that, right? Right here you have your media browser and you'll be able to put in any clips here or any texts or videos or sound effects, whatever it might be. You have your basic tools here and on the top right here, you can switch between different kind of views that Adobe has. For you preset, so if you want to do just effects, you can maybe go to this tab and it will be kind of optimized for doing effects. If you want to add, just do coloring, you can go to that tab and it's optimized for that. But for now, I'm just going to stay in the editing kind of workspace and do most of this video there. Now if you can't find something or whatever, then you can always just go to Window, Workspaces and reset your workspaces or click anything here that you want to make is visible on your main screen. The first thing you want to do before you even get started with the editing is organization. So organization is something that is super crucial if you want to be editing effectively and not waste much time, basically looking for all your different clips. So what I like to do is go and right click create a new bin. And I just like to create a new bin for every single different kind of file that I will have inside of my project. So in this case, I will have one that's video. I will have a folder that is audio and I will have one that is maybe overlays. So now that I have that, I can actually change the view of this, kind of like media browser panel here. So this is the list view. I have this icon view as well, and I also have this freeform view, which I never use. I usually like to stick with the list view, so now you can actually go and open your folder that has all the different clips that you want to use in your edit and then just drag and drop those into the certain folder that you want to import them into. And as you can see, it has imported all 10 of my video files. Now I'm also going to import this song that I want to use for this edit into the audio section. First thing I'm gonna do with the videos before I would actually go ahead and import these onto my timeline. 
is I'm going to make sure that the frame rate matches the sequences, frame rates. I set this sequence's frame rate to 27 frames per second. So what I can just do is select all my clips and then go and click on modify, and then go to interpret footage, and then click on assume this frame. 27 frames per second. And now it's basically made all of them to the equivalent of 27 frames per second. So if one of them was more, it has made it slow motion footage, and if one was the same, then it just stays the same. So this is going to make sure that your frame rate for the videos is matching the sequences. Now you don't necessarily have to do this of course, but I think it makes overall better and smoother looking cinematic edit if that's what you are going for. Now, if you're going for more of vlog style and you don't really care about making sure that the clips match the sequence, frame rate, then just skip this. Let's get into actually editing and importing these videos. So, if you double click on any of your clips here in the media browser, then you can actually scroll, scroll through it on this little tab here. So, if you only want to import a certain part of the video, then what you can do. Go to the part where you want to start the clip and then click I on your keyboard and then go to the part where you want to end it and then click O on your keyboard. So I4 in and O4 out and then you can just go and grab this and drag it onto one of your video tracks. Now if you just want to go and straight up import a whole video and not just select a part of it, what you can do is just drag and drop the whole thing onto your timeline. And as you can see, it has imported it. Okay. Great, so the next thing I want to show you is how to use the very basic tools. So the first one that you're going to be using most is the selection tool. So this is the one that you can use to grab a clip and then move it to a different video track, or move it around or do anything with it, or, or go and click on it, highlight it. Go to effect controls and change the different settings of the video. To access this, you want to press V on your keyboard, and then you are going to open up this selection tool. The next one that you're going to be using quite a lot is the razor tool. So you can use this to cut a video into, for example, two different pieces. So as you can see, I can actually make my video track a bit bigger, so I can see a little thumbnail of the, the video, what's going on there. So if I see on my keyboard, it's going to open up the razor tool, and now I can just click on wherever I want to on this footage. And as you can see, it cut it into two pieces. So now I, if I go back to the selection tool, I can just move them around into separate pieces. Now, if I want to delete a clip from my timeline, I can just click on the part that I want to delete and hide. With my selection tool and then click on delete and boom, it's gone right now, as you can see. Now I have this little black space here between the two clips, so if you want to get rid of that, you can just highlight that as well. And then click delete, and it got rid of the black space and made them come together. Another thing that you are going to be doing quite a lot is changing the scale of your video. So for example, if you want this video to be more zoomed in, what you can do is highlight it and then go to effect controls right here and change the scale of it. So as you can see, drag it and make it a bigger number, then it's more zoomed in, right? And if I make it lower, then it's going to make my video clip smaller. That is how easy it is to, to use. And if you want to change the position of that certain clip, what you can do is go here to position. Change all these numbers and play around with them and place a certain clip wherever I want to on my screen. Now, if you want to go back, you can just always click Charles Z or Command Z if you're using a Mac on your keyboard and go a step back. Now, if you want to actually redo something, you can just click Shift, Comment and Z or Shift Control Z and you will redo. Step that you did previously. Now here in the effect controls, you can also change the rotation of the certain clip and do all sorts of things with it. Like for example, you can also change the opacity of something. So opacity is just basically how see through the video is. So if I go and change the opacity of this clip, for example, to 50%, as you can see, it got darker because it's showing. Of what's under it, and because nothing is under it, it's just showing more, you know, black. But if I place this over my other clip, you can see how I can kind of see both clips at the same time now because the clip on top is 50% opacity, so you can play around with that as well and create pretty cool effect. The next thing you will be doing a lot as well. 
speeding up your clips and slowing them down. So to do that, what you want to do is highlight the certain clip that you want to change the duration of, and then right click on it, and then you want to go to speed slash duration. And then here you can change the percentage of the speed, or even make your clip reverse. So if you, then it's just going to play your clip in reverse, right? And if you change the speed to, for example, 50%, then it's going to be slowed down to 50%. So you will have the clip playing at half speed. Now if you want to speed up your clip to let's say double the normal speed, then you can just put 200% there and boom. As you can see, my clip is now faster than it was before. Now to add music to your project, all you have to do is select a certain audio file that you want to add to your, and then drag it into one of the audio layers. And basically that's it. You know, now you have music under your video, but if you want to change the volume of that, what you can just do is highlight the certain audio file that you want to change the volume of, then go here to level, and then you can change the audio level of it there. So if I want to make it, for example, a bit less loud, then I can just set it at minus. Decibels and it's pretty quiet. Okay, so now let me show you some pretty cool effects and transitions, and how you can use those and how you can change them. So, if you want to add an effect to your video, then you can just go into effects right here, and then they have a bunch of different presets there for all sorts of audio effects, audio, video effects and transitions, all of those different things. For example, if I want to add, just to show you an example, a mirror effect to this clip, then I can just go to distort mirror, and then I will just drag and drop that on my video here. And as you can see, it looks like nothing really happened. But the reason for that is because you will need to change the, the settings. So, for example, I added it to this clip, so I will high. Go to Effect Controls. And now, as you can see, I have this mirror effect here. So if I play around with some of these numbers, as you can see, there is, for example, a reflection center setting here. So if I make that something different, then, as you can see now, it has created this very trippy looking mirror effect on my footage, which looks quite cool actually, in my opinion. And same goes with all the other kind of effects that you can use in Premiere. You just add it to your clip, go into the effect controls. Play around with it and see how it works on your certain clip. Audio effects work the exact same way. Just go into the certain audio effect that you want to add. Drag it on your audio file or audio, kind of like layer, and change the settings of it. Now, if you want to save your project to make sure that none of your progress gets lost, what you want to do is click Starl and asks on your keyboard or a comment and asks if you are on Mac. And then basically it. So when it comes to video transitions, the only difference between, you know, transitions and effects is with the transition. You know, you go down to video transitions and select one that you want to add, and then you just drag and drop it between the two clips. Now you can see it has added it. And now I have this little sliding effect between the two. So to change the duration of it, what you can just click on the transition and then change the duration of it here. So if you want to make it longer, you might just make it like two seconds. If you're gonna make it shorter, you will make it less, right? Pretty simple to do. Or you can also click on it there and change the duration right here. So another thing some of you guys might want to use in the future is recording voiceovers. So in order to do that, all you want to do is go to wherever you want to start recording your voiceover, and then click here on this microphone, and then it's going to start counting down. And then you will be able to talk over your footage, and it's already going to record your audio there. Now next up, let me show you how you can create texts on your video. So to do that, what I'd like to do is go to the captions and graphics part of Premiere or quote unquote workspace. And then you want to go ahead and press on your keyboard to bring up the text tool. And then you can just click anywhere on your screen or your playback screen there. And I'm just going to put a random text there, for example, ocean. And then as you can see now here, I have this essential graphics panel and here I can change the text font. For example, I'm going to use Munner, and you can change the alignment of it. So I want to center it. So I'm just going to click on horizontal center and vertical center as well. You can change the, the size of the text as well, and you know, recenter it if you need to. You can change, for example, how wide the letters apart are apart from each other. 
You can change like what the, the font settings and so many things to be that it's pretty awesome. So yeah, that's basically how easy it is to add a text and you can change all the different things about your text here. For example, the color as well, or even the opacity of it. And now, as you can see, I have this text on my footage and you can change the duration of it here by just dragging it and so on. Okay, so now I'm going to use all of these different things that I just showed you how to do and kind of put them together to create a cinematic looking edit. Okay, so after that, once you have created your full edit, then you want to export your video and your masterpiece. So to do that, what you want to do is go up to file and then go to export. You want to go to export media. And now, as you can see, select your export settings here. Click use maximum render quality. I always like to do that. And then here you can select the format of the video. So for most internet content, you want to keep it as H.260. Again, for the preset, you want to usually just choose one that is suited for a certain platform you're trying to export to or select your own settings. And then here, you can select the output name so you can name your file here. Choose where you want it to be exported to. And that's basically it. After that, here you can make sure that everything that you want to be included in the export is in it. If it's not, you can change the range here. So, for example, if you want a video to be exported from this part to this part, then you just grab these and put them there. And then only those parts are going to be. And after that, you just want to click on export and boom, now your video is being exported. I hope this video is going to get you started on the journey of video editing and finding some joy. I think it's a great hobby and also it can be a great profession. So I really hope this video got you started on it and, and you found some value from it. So if you want to see more stuff like this, then check out my channel and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you in the next one.